uh, in this clip, I want to address uh, another concern of, uh, in, in all the objections to every customer counts, every dollar margin counts. And I've often heard the expression, uh, ah, but acorns grow into mighty oak trees. Guys may be small today, but someday they'll be big. And when they get big, they'll remember that we treated them shabbily when they were small and, and uh, we won't ever get their business. Uh, and I think to a certain degree that made sense. In 1948, uh, we had not created a consumer society, and America had an unprecedented growth uh, period. Uh, our GDP tripled in constant dollars from 1948 to 1966, and uh, we created a consumer society. But now, uh, it's a post-consumer society, and most industries as we know them, certainly physical product channel channels, are, are consolidated, they're mature. And uh, I think a fair question might be to say, all right, if we had acorns and we were planting them in you know, perfect soil at a nursery, a lot of them, a big percent of them would start to grow. But what percent of little acorns can grow into mighty oak trees in a mature forest? In other words, if somebody's starting up and it's, a, it's an industry that's formulaic and there are lots of big guys already and they're already consolidating, uh, that little acorn isn't going to be able to, to fight for much uh, resource share. Uh, as far as sunlight and, and water and soil and so forth. And in fact, in mature forests, maybe one in 100,000 acorns actually grows to be an oak tree. Uh, and they're lottie winners. Uh, they, just as it landed, uh, you know, a bear, you know, went to the bathroom on them, and so a squirrel couldn't get it. And then a big oak tree got knocked down a storm. It created a patch of sunlight, et cetera. Uh, so that's uh, statistically what goes on in forests anyway. And it's not much different in small business America Although we run around and talk about Small Business America creating jobs and uh, Small Business America are entrepreneurs, the truth of the matter is 95% of small businesses are what I would call self-employed. Um, these are people who, uh, you know, aren't they, 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 instead of going and getting a job, they've in a sense bought themselves a job. And they kind of do what they do and they don't change much. A good index would be to say, well, what have they done in the last five years? In other words, have they been growing uh, faster than the industry average? Because when you're small, it's easy to grow if you're focused and disciplined. If you ask the people that are running these small businesses, I mean, you just look at them, give them an energy check, and then give them a focus check. Say, what's your strategy for growing? They sort of say, well, I just do what I do. You know, I'm just here, and if the phone rings, that's great kind of thing. Uh, the odds that these people are going to turn into Sam Walton and Walmart next year are, are slim to none. So what we need to do is identify the 5% who, well, they're small now, but they've got great ambition. they got great energy. They're there early. They stay late. They really care. They're willing to try new stuff to get ahead. Uh, they've got a track record of innovating and uh, so forth and partnering. You know, with, with vendors and customers and employees, uh, these are all important things to grow. So I think that we should speculate on, on, on a small percent of small people if they can pass the what have you done in the last five year and, and strategic focus energy check. Uh, but other than that, I think that we need to not uh, over service and underprice them and lose money on them every year thinking that someday we're going to make money on them in the long run. They distract us from, from doing more important proactive work with bigger, better uh, customers in, in more uh, important niches that are suited best to us. Uh, I suppose you could say, well, what if what if we treated somebody small that was small, you know, in a in a in a in a less generous way than our competitor, and in fact. They did grow, or maybe a, a family member came in and took the business over and then turned it into a gazelle, and it grew mightily. Uh, I would then say in this day and age, the, if you went you know, 10 years down the road and the guy's really got a, a good business, uh, good business people basically reward best value. So if you actually have best focused service value for that particular customer because they're in a niche that you really focus on, uh, then that will be rewarded. So uh, I, I, don't, uh, I don't have great fears about 100% uh, of all the little acorns growing in mighty oak trees. Thank you.